Today, we are going to determine the missing terms in a sequence of numbers. Before we start, let me share you a story. Jose believes he got a skin infection, so he went to see a doctor with his mother. The doctor prescribed a medication that he needs to take three times a day for seven days. When they got home, his mother gave him the first medication at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and reminded him to take the other at 10 o'clock in the evening. Jose, as per advice by his mother, takes the medicine rightfully. Early the next day, he wakes up presuming that the third medication will be taken at 6 o'clock in the morning. How did Jose figure out that the third medication will be taken at 6 o'clock in the morning? Do you have any idea? Before we answer the question, let me remind you that Taking your medicine as prescribed by your doctor is important for controlling chronic conditions, treating temporary conditions, and overall long-term health and well-being. By following your doctor's orders, your long-term outcomes can immensely improve. Now, let's go back to our discussion. Jose figured out that the third medication will be taken at 6 o'clock in the morning by the use of pattern. Based from the illustration presented, we notice that the time interval between the scheduled medication is 8 hours. But what is a pattern? Pattern is a form by which things are arranged in an organized way. There are a lot of patterns around us. You can find pattern in music. Or in shapes. It can be in increasing order. Or in decreasing order. Pattern can be complicated just like this. Look at this sequence of numbers. Do you know what kind of pattern is this? This is called a number sequence. Number sequence is a list of numbers arranged in a row. Each number in the number sequence is called a term. You may be wondering how to determine missing terms in a sequence of numbers. To find the missing terms in a number sequence, we must first look for its pattern. Look closely to this example. In this number sequence, we notice that each term is formed by adding 4 to the preceding numbers. 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. Thus, we need to add 4 to 24 to get the missing term. In like manner with the remaining terms. Therefore, the missing terms are 28 and 36. Here is another example of number sequence. The sequence of numbers is in decreasing order. Let us get the difference between 45 and 37 in like manner with 37 and 29. 
the difference is 8. Therefore, we should subtract by 8 the remaining numbers. The missing terms are 21 and 13, since 13 is 8 more than the last term, which is 5. Let us take a look at this example. Look closely at the difference of 6 and 8, and 8 and 12. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2, and 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. The difference is a multiple of 2. Therefore, we need to add the multiples of 2 to each of the terms. Adding 6 to 12 becomes 18. Adding 8 to 18 becomes 26. And adding 10 to 26 becomes 36. Hence, 18 and 36 are the missing terms. Here is another example. Find the missing terms in the number sequence presented. Get the difference of the consecutive terms. Take note that as the number increases, the difference is multiplied by the common factor of the term which is 2. To find the missing terms, multiply the preceding difference by 2 and then add the product to the current term to obtain the next term. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 16 plus 15 is equal to 31. Therefore, 31 is the fifth term. The same process will be done to obtain the succeeding term. 16 times 2 is equal to 32. 32 plus 31 is equal to 63. Therefore, 63 is the sixth term. Find the missing terms in the following situations presented. Can you find the pattern or sequence used? The numbers inside the squares are multiplied by add numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9. Starting with 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 30 times 7 is equal to 210. 210 times 9 is equal to 1890. So the missing number in the last square is 1890. How about the numbers inside the circles? The series of numbers inside the circles uses even numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8 as factors. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 48 times 8 
is equal to 384. Therefore, the missing number inside the circle is 384. The missing terms are 1890 and 384. Now kids, let us try to answer this activity. Directions. Find the missing terms in each of the following number sequence. You have two minutes to answer. This number sequence is made by adding 2 in the preceding numbers. 23 plus 2 is equal to 25. 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. Thus, we need to add 2 to the remaining numbers. 27 plus 2 is equal to 29. 29 plus 2 is equal to 31. 31 plus 2 is equal to 33. The missing numbers are 29 and 31. For this number sequence, look closely to the difference of 1 and 2 and 2 and 4. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, this number sequence is made by adding numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to each of the terms. Let us try. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 and 11 plus 5 is equal to 16 therefore the missing terms are 7 and 16 kids always remember that a pattern is a form by which things are arranged in an organized way each number in the number sequence is called a term. To find the missing terms in a number sequence, we must first look for its pattern. For our last activity, kindly answer this word problem. 
Lorena visits her sister Luella every seventh day of the week. She visited her sister last February 12, 2021. At what date will she visit her sister for the fourth time? You have two minutes to answer. Your timer starts now. Lorena will visit her sister for the fourth time on March 5, 2021. 